Just like cats and dogs, chickens can pick up parasites that live on the skin. A healthy hen will preen and groom herself and dust bathe frequently to remove and prevent parasite infestation, but hens can become overwhelmed. So what are the signs of mites and lice? Often the first signs of parasites is that you feel a bit itchy or have a crawling sensation on your skin when handling the birds. This can be either lice or mites. Parasites can cause irritation and distress to the birds. So you may notice some behavioural changes such as aggression towards other birds, increased preening, or they may make more noise. With blood sucking mites, there's sometimes small blood spots on the chicken's eggs. So this can be a clue to check for mites. I'll briefly go through the main culprits and show you where to look. There are two main types of blood sucking mites, the red mite and the northern fowl mite. These mites feed on the chicken's blood and they steal vital red cells and white cells, which can lead to anemia and immune suppression, leaving the birds susceptible to infections. Red mites are very common. They live in the hen house and come out at night to feed on the birds. They reproduce rapidly, especially in hot weather, and produce huge numbers, which can be fatal to chickens. During the day, the mites hide out in the coop, but they can be seen if you look carefully. Try it around the door to the nest box and at the joint of the perch, etc. Alternatively, check after dark when the birds have gone to bed. Look with a torch and you may see the mites moving around. A white piece of paper on the coop floor may also show the mites. The mites are very small, but they can be seen by eye as tiny moving specks. Red mites will feed off any animal and can cause dermatitis in humans. The treatment for red mites is to clean the coop and environment thoroughly. There are a number of environmental treatments for red mites, including cleaners and even predator mites. The other type of blood sucking mite is the northern fowl mite. This mite spends its entire life on the bird and is usually found around the vent where it lays its eggs on the feather shafts. Usually dried up crusts of blood and mite faeces can be seen. Lice tend to feed on feather parts, skin and blood but they are not as dangerous to the birds as the blood sucking mites, but they are very irritating. Lice are easy to see as they are around two to three millimetres in size. This hen has lice. The lice will scatter quickly when exposed to light, so you need to be quick to spot them. The key areas to check are at the base of the neck, at the base of the tail, around the vent and under the wings. Another telltale sign is the clusters of cement-like grey-white eggs glued to the base of the feathers. These egg clusters are difficult to remove. Please do not pull the feathers out. This can be painful for the birds. The feathers can be soaked to soften the clusters before attempting to remove them. To prevent lice and mite infestations, regularly check your birds. Provide a dust bath with diatomaceous earth and inspect any new birds before adding to the flock. Of course, there are very effective insecticide treatments for all parasites mentioned, but these are largely prescription-only medicines, so you will need to contact your vet for advice.